Welcome back. In this week's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make the amazing vegan sushi roll. Now, this is a delicious vegan sushi roll. It is really tasty. And if you want to know how to make this, just keep watching till the end. Let's go. Lightly saute some shimeji mushrooms, asparagus, and carrots in a pan with some garlic, coconut oil, and a little bit of seasoning oil. Get the coconut oil nice and hot. You get some garlic, about two or three cloves, just crush them with a knife and chuck them in there to flavor the oil as you cook. What you want to do is impart flavor onto the vegetables because vegetables, they're quite bland to tell you the truth. So they need a little bit of help. So just add asparagus. I've just cut them in half and a couple of little carrots. and your mushrooms. Lightly saute them. You don't want to overcook them, you just want to get them to have a little bit of color just so that it has a little bit more taste than they normally do. Add a little bit of sesame seed oil, just a couple of drops will do. The idea here is to just get some color onto the vegetables and get them slightly softer. I mean the asparagus and the carrot are quite hard vegetables. So you just want to get them slightly softer, so they don't have that much of a crunch. And of course, add some flavor to it. So take the mushrooms out before the carrots and the asparagus, because they will be done quite quickly. About three minutes should do more or less, depending on what temperature your pan gets to. Okay, that's the asparagus done. So to start, you take 150 grams of cooked black and white rice, that's uh, 5 ounces, and you spread it out nice and softly. Just keep it on the sheet and spread out to all corners of the sheet. You don't want to press down the sushi rice, just fluff it out slightly so that it's still sort of airy. Okay. There we go. Now. You place it on a sushi rolling mat with a plastic bag around it. This is so that the rice doesn't get stuck into it. It's much easier to do like this. Now add a little bit of wasabi paste. Now this is real wasabi. If you want to know more about real wasabi, a link will appear now on the top left corner. And now you add your filling, which is the sauteed asparagus then some sautéed shimeji mushrooms and some sautéed carrot slices. Okay. So now that you have the filling inside the sushi roll, you want to just begin at this end, curl it over. If you want to know more about rolling and how to roll, then a link should appear now on the top left corner of the screen. The link goes to a video I made especially about how to roll sushi rolls and goes more into depth about it. Okay, so just compress it nicely and there we go a beautiful black vegan sushi roll now the key here is to just drag the tip of the knife through if you do it like this up down what happens is the avocado slice gets stuck to the knife and then it just it becomes a big mess so just drag the tip through the avocado now very simply you spread out the avocado slices half an avocado should do you just spread it out on your hand and once you've got all the slices nice and spread out to more or less the same length as the roll itself, you just lay it on top. And don't worry, you can always just keep moving the slices into place. So you don't have to get it completely the right size on your hand. Just fix the avocado onto it with the bamboo rolling mat in a plastic bag. And now what you can do to make it neater is just slice and just get a nice straight edge on the avocado. Just makes it look a little bit prettier. Now before you cut it, you want to put a little bit of cling film over it. This will just keep everything in place while you cut it. Just press it down with another bamboo rolling mat. Okay, and now you want to wet your knife in a little bit of water. This will keep the rice from sticking to it. 
and just cut off the corners. Okay, beautiful. Now, there's several ways you can cut it. Sushi bars like to just cut in the middle and then cut the halves in quarters and then the quarters at the eighth, assuring you have eight pieces. What I like to do is I just like to start with one end and I know more or less the thickness I want. Now for this one I want it a bit thicker because I'm going to put some sauce on top. So I'm going to end up with about six to seven pieces of sushi. Okay, so once you've cut it all, you can just use a bamboo rolling mat again just to shape back everything in place. And then you take the cling film off. Okay, and there you go. That's the inside of the amazing vegan roll. It's a beautiful little sushi roll. Now to top it off, you just place a little bit of carrot ginger sauce, which I made earlier. Like that. Now the key is just to keep the point of the cone close to whatever you're doing. Press it out and then continue pressing as you lift up. And this creates a little mountain peak effect. A nice easy way to re-watch this video if you don't have time right now or you want to just keep it and then later when you cook have a reference. Uh, you press down on the bottom where it says add to and then favorites. So two clicks, add to and then favorites. And this way it will just be on a list of favorites and you can just re-watch it anytime you like. It's very handy. The rice I'm using for this roll is half black rice and half sushi rice. Now the black rice takes a bit longer to cook than the sushi rice so I first cook the black rice then uh, after a full period of time of cooking the black rice which is about 35 to 45 minutes I add the white rice and then cook it again for the entire time the white rice takes to cook. So basically it takes double the time to cook this. Otherwise it's still crunchy after just cooking it once. I bought this black rice off the internet, off the Amazon store. Now there's a couple different varieties. I chose this one. It worked quite well. Uh, I'll put a link up here to my website where you can then see the one I bought from Amazon. It's not much. I think it was like 10 pounds or something. I bought it off the UK store. I'll put two because I don't think you can. I've tried buying it off the American Amazon, but for some reason they won't send it, even though it's the same product inside Amazon UK as Amazon. America, so I just don't understand the policy there.